All right, guys. So today it's been a little rough for me. Um, I've only looked at the spot on the map. In fact, I've never even been close here. I don't even know where I am. So stop asking. Anyway. Um, yeah, I got here and it's pretty much impossible to get to the water. So you know me, I'm hard-headed. So we're doing it, and I'm surrounded by yellow jackets. All right. Yeah. So we're going basically down a cliff. I'm gonna try to film it. Yeah, so we're going through a tunnel here. I believe. Oh, it's coming. Holy moly. Oopsies. Well, I made it. There's one thing I will say about Texas. Every time I think I find just the worst put in there could possibly be, Texas throws something new at me. That was fun. I got stung once by yellow jacket, but we're paddling. Well, we haven't gotten rain in months, so every river that I know of is just inches. I'm touching bottom right now, trying to paddle. Look how shallow this river is, just so crazy. I don't know, I absolutely, absolutely just love finding new places just adventuring exploring wouldn't be an episode without dragging the kayak i think i'm gonna be doing this for a mile or two probably i'm still walking me a long time to get to a spot that I know has gar but I'm here I'm trying something new I'm gonna show y'all so this is kind of what I got going on today basically I've got my bait zip tied to a piece of wire and then at the top of it I have a little float that's gonna keep this wire upright and then whenever we get a bite this wire is gonna close and snare around the gar and we're gonna catch it without using a hook so I'm going to take these out with the kayak. I haven't figured out a way to throw them yet. So we're just going to take our bait out over here, the little bit deeper part of the river. Get my bait ready to drop. There she goes. She opens pretty well in the water. Goes like that. We're just gonna go and let that sit on bottom. That other one, it didn't actually sink when I put it out because I wanted it on bottom, so I cut my little float in half. That should work. I'm gonna get this one ready to go. Opens up just like it should. And we're just gonna send it down and sink. Yep, she's sinking like she's supposed to. The rod. We're gonna get to it now. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, I got it on the snare. I got it on the snare. far out there. What is that? It's a gar, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, I got her with the snare. Look at that. Dude. How cool. Yeah, I just want to take some pictures of you. I'll let you go. Wow, neat. Cool, dude. All right, guys. So this is super neat. Um, this is the first time I've never used a hook to catch an alligator car. This is my first one I've ever snared. My rig worked, and I got her. It's about a five foot fish, four and a half foot, somewhere in there. But plenty good for enough for me. I'm really, really happy with this. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to get this off of her if I can. And I've got some snippers where I can clip it if I need to. Open up one more time. I think I'm just gonna clip it for her. And I can pull it all out. No hooks whatsoever. go no hook whatsoever just a swivel and some wire here's my fish we're gonna let her go there she goes right there goes all right guys it's been a long day i finally made it back to my truck I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes but if y'all enjoyed the video, leave me a comment. I'll see y'all in the next video.